Hey guys, Tyskoati here, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to back up your files in Trailmakers so that you can never lose them. So let's get started. First, what you're going to want to do is head over and open File Explorer. You could just click on this and type in File Explorer, and that comes up. And next, when you are on here, head over to this PC. And I have left some text in the description of the video, so what you're going to want to do is go to description, select that, and copy it. But when, or once you have that copied, what we're going to do now is head over to Windows and then C colon. Once you're here, what we're going to do is head over to Users. And then you're just going to find your name. There may be multiple names here, slash files. But you, um, if it doesn't work the first time, then if you have multiple uh, file names, then just try some extra file names. So once you get your name, which is displayed here, that is like the ownership of the, uh, the, the Windows executor, I guess. What you're gonna want to do is go here, left click on this little bar, and what you're gonna want to do is hit Ctrl V, get rid of the commas if there are commas, or not commas, you know what I mean. Anyways, you're gonna want to replace this text right here with the text that is right here in this file. And so that's like the uh, your name, like where the Trailmakers uh, thing is. So once that's done and you have your um, your name right here, instead of mine, what you're going to do is click enter, and it should bring you here. So once you are here, just click on Trailmakers, and you're going to see all of this. So from here, what you're going to do is select Blueprints. It should be the second from the top right click and then click copy and then right click and paste you should see that it has made a copy so now what you're going to want to do is just minimize that screen a little bit and drag that onto your desktop you want to close this trailmakers file thing and double click on this and these are all your blueprints. So you can name this whatever you want, but just in case your blueprint file gets corrupted, what you can do is go back to here and replace the blueprints folder with the copy that you made here. This has saved me a couple times. It's always really good to have backups of your blueprints because I have lost all my blueprints twice. So, uh... <laughs> Yeah, that really sucked. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to back up your files, then make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace!